Hello. <laughs> My name is Lotte Hansen. My name is Anne Mitte. And I am Marilyn Gift. Yeah. And uh, I'm an intern here at the museum um, where I work at the Teniology Center. And I'm from Denmark. Um, I live in Aalborg in Denmark, but I'm from a little town in the southern part of Jutland. And I'm an intern here as well. I work here at the museum together with uh, Tove Pramp. Uh, I'm originally from a small town called Enkaskobi that's close to Vejle, but I live in Copenhagen now. And I'm Marilyn Gift, and I'm here to help the girls make pebbenure. Maybe they say it a little bit differently, <laughs> uh, but we are at the Museum of Danish America in Elkhorn, Iowa. And they are ready to make pebbenure, and we yes. have the recipe there displayed for you, and they are ready to go. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we have the butter here. And yeah. it is... One cup of butter. Two sticks. Two sticks. Yeah. That's one cup. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. We can turn it on. We can turn it on. We're yeah. going to lift it up like this and start it. Ooh. And then we're going to add the sugar. Yeah. One and a half cup of brown sugar. We pre-measured sugar was, was well packed. It was well packed, <laughs> yes. Make sure that it's well packed. <laughs> Fill the cup up. Do you think it can go faster? Mm -hmm. this Great. You're not really used to this machine. Yeah. So, Marilyn mm -hmm. is. Okay, so we need one egg yolk. And we're using this egg which is available at the <laughs> yeah. gift shop at the Museum of Danish America. I've never seen one like this before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. It sits right, right on the edge wow. of your dish. Oh. And we have also uh, pre-registered, uh, pre-measured um, all the all the spices, and we have one teaspoon of uh, cinnamon and uh, a quarter teaspoon of ginger, it's right here, and one eighth of teaspoon of cloves, and then a small half teaspoon of the uh, salt. It's in here. Yeah. And you could add some white pepper to it as well. Yeah, the white pepper is uh, optional. Yeah. Actually, pepper means pepper nuts. Yeah, but actually, uh, the pepper in pepper nuts doesn't refer only to pepper, but to spices in general. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so we have um, three cups of flour, and I'm going to put the spices in it. Well. And I think we should maybe turn the mixer off yep. while you're adding that. And we're and learning from down. my mistakes and okay. lowering it down. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. Go ahead and add. Turn it on slowly. Now you can probably put some in. Mm -hmm. We need to add the cream. Yeah. Which is six tablespoons of cream. Yeah. And I like to use whipping cream. It gives it a richer flavor. Yeah. 
landmark. When you are, is it a Christmas tradition? Yes, it is. Yes, very much. Yeah. Uh, in Denmark, you would be able to find pepernuts all over the country at every Christmas event uh, during December, and most people will probably just buy them. I don't really like the ones that you buy in the shops. I like the homemade better, so that's why we're making them. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, if you put uh, Christmas hearts on uh, your Christmas tree or Christmas cones, which we have right over here, you can put your pepper nuts or your pure vanilla inside of them, like we've done here. Yeah. And this you can hang on your Christmas tree or just yeah. use yes. as a treat? Yeah. I would just mix in the last bit of okay. the flour and the spices. what the dough should look, look like after we mix it. <laughs> You're the perfect TV chef. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Christmas at our house if we didn't have tender and our boys used to call them little cookies oh. and our grandchildren really do like them it's a far more and more and more makes them more pebbiner <laughs> yeah, they are really good <laughs> there's something a little bit addictive about them yeah you have them and since they're so small you can eat a lot of them <laughs> maybe I'll just eat this oh okay <laughs> So just roll it out and have it the size of your thumb when you're done. Yeah. Just gonna take this. We're going to freeze them first because they are a little easier to cut when they are frozen. So now this is another method of uh, making a little different shape. These are in the shape of a log. Mm. And this is a cookie press. I use it for making um, Krasikai, but you can also use mm. it for making cookies. Mm. So uh, Svico, S-V-E-I-C-O is the brand of it that's difficult to find, you can maybe find it on eBay. Ooh. Okay, let's see if you can do it. And we'll try. <coughs> okay, and we just put the dough into this cylinder form and then apparently it's just coming out when you do this one. <laughs> like that. <laughs> If it breaks a little bit, that's just where you cut the cookie. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. <laughs> so, this was yep. nice okay. and easy. Let's make another one. Another one. Perfect. 
good at that. Okay, <laughs> great. Now we're going to try a third method. Using this one. And this we will use the KitchenAid mixer. And it has a sausage attachment to it. And we are going to use the sausage attachment to make the pimpin. So which way do you normally make them? When we make them, we I usually make two or three batches at a time. Mm -hmm. And it is teamwork at our house oh. with my husband. So my husband Bill, he's great. So But you use this normally? You use you this. Yeah. This is the fastest yeah. and most efficient way to do it. So you lay this down and okay, you guys are ready to go. Yes. And do you we'll want to use your muscles? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So we will just put dough into this one and then use this, what do you call this? It's the pusher. The, the pusher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a better name. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you just press it down and then it will come out, come out there. This makes it very uniform in size. It's very fast. If you're making a large quantity and you have your equipment going, then this is a fast, fun, new technology <laughs> way to do it. <laughs> we'll just turn this mixer up a little bit. Yes. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> You just cut it off when it's long enough and you put it down. It takes a little arm strength. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I let you do this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These girls are great. It's the first time that we're trying to use this machine so yeah. if it looks a bit messy that's why <laughs> okay i think we have three that yep, should, yeah we do. Perfect. that should be good turn it right off. And then we're going to put them in the freezer to let them set a bit and then they're easier to cut up. Yes. Okay. Now these have been free uh, pre-frozen. Yes, we cheated a bit. <laughs> Do two or three at a time. Oh, yeah. be fast about it. Mm. Three? Wow, I've never done that before. <laughs> do at least two at a time. Yeah. So, do you usually roll them afterwards or do you just put them, I make put, them like this? I uh, put them on here and make them. Okay. This really do look like a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's 
do some of these little tiny ones. Those are a little mm. bit different. Okay. You wanna do it? So how long do you want the small uh, ones? Like this? Let's see. A little bit longer. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. See how fast that is? That's yeah, really that's fast. fast. And then you, you can just spread those cookies out yeah. a little bit. a little bit yeah, so yeah. You have to be a little bit careful that they don't roll into each other but they are ready to go in the oven and we will bake them how long I would say about 12, 10 to 12, 12 minutes yeah 12 <laughs> minutes depending on your pan this is not an insulated mm. pan but I think it makes them a little bit more crispy ah. so you have a choice yeah okay they great. are ready to go in the oven mm.